Hey folks, and welcome to another edition of What Did You Think? Where I get a chance to thank all of you and reply to the comments of a post that I had made on Facebook where I was asking all of you, what did you think when you first met me, first saw me dance, or first danced with me? This is my way of saying thank you. Maria Louise, I first saw you dance at a congress in Amsterdam. I thought, if music could be seen, this is it. <laughs> Because of your musicality, I could hear more things and layers in the music. From that day, I was in love with musicality, and it enriched my experience of salsa, zouk, and hip-hop greatly. So thank you. You are a huge inspiration. Maria, thank you for this beautiful comment, especially when I think of the music that we have the privilege of dancing to, especially when we get a chance to do it to live music, which is a phenomenal experience. Uh, I always wish that I could do justice to the musicians. Like I would like to dance in a way that if the musician was watching me, they would say, oh yeah, yeah, that's what the trumpet's doing. Yeah, that's what the piano's playing. Yeah, that's what the percussion's doing. You know, I like that she's uh, playing with all of those things because I've heard from a few friends of mine who are musicians who have bands who will play for salsa clubs and they just feel like a lot of dancers completely dance over the music, not with it. You know, completely as if the song could be any song, not that particular song, but any song, and that's how they dance to every song. And I remember a friend of mine, Doug Beavers, who is a amazing trombonist and has his own band, he had once said something very similar, and that was one of the greatest honors for me. So that, that comment that you wrote, Maria, means so much. It means that I'm doing something right. So thank you, and I'm glad that it has impacted you in such a positive way when it comes to your own interpretation and your own expression of all sorts of different music, it seems. Soren Henriksen, I thought, wow, like super women in salsa, I never dare to invite you to dance. It would be like a hedgehog inviting a swan to fly or ride together. <laughs> um, it's a very interesting analogy. As for the hedgehog and the swan, I don't know which one is the better one. The hedgehog has its own qualities and its own strengths and its own creativity with how it approaches life, and so does the swan, right? So I think we could, either one of us could be a hedgehog or the swan. I, Eric Azolas. I was really impressed by Flo, and as I love to spin, I thought, shit, these girls is rock solid. I also enjoy the fact that you seem really playful. I haven't danced with you yet, so you are in my I need to do before I die list. <laughs> oh man. I always find that really funny when people have these bucket lists. Uh, I gotta dance with this person. But I appreciate being on your bucket list. Thank you. All right. Codrin Antonio. I saw you when I was a beginner and I was amazed by the feeling of joy you were spreading. Thank you, Kudrin. I think, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. That is probably one of the greatest joys is to spread joy, right? One of the greatest honors in life is to be able to spread a positive feeling to other people. And I'm glad that, <laughs> that you were able to experience that by watching. Rushmi Yolikar, I met you in Oman at the very first festival and thought, damn, she's stunning and elegant. Thank you, Rashmi. I remember that festival. That was a lot of fun. And to this day, I still remember this one dessert that I had when I was there in the, the hotel that we were staying at. I think it's called Omalie or something like that. It's, uh, it's like a custard dessert, very common in Middle Eastern culture, um, like a burnt top with a milk type of custard in the, the bottom. I wish someone would make that for me, but yeah. I love All right, Rafael Sibor. I remember that was at Beach, Sla Beach Splash Festival in Shibinik, Kuro. Wow, long comment. July 2013. I was one of many waiting in line, having less than two years of any dance experience, knowing that the level difference is huge. I felt extremely anxious. And then we danced. I believe I tried dancing on two. Back then, I used to have a habit of pointing my finger in the direction towards which I wanted to go or to lead my partner. You made a shine choreography out of it. <laughs> Today it feels embarrassing. I showed Salsa Champion where she's supposed to go with my finger. For those three or four minutes, I felt as I was as if I was such a top world level dancer, and it felt amazing. After the dance, there was a standard hug. I told you how grateful and honored I felt, and so you hugged me again. That was so extremely nice and unexpected. I couldn't find any more words to that. 
one of the best dances of my life. I'm never going to forget it. I'm, I'm honored that you feel this way. It's such a privilege to be able to impact other people's lives. And I can definitely picture myself creating some sort of silly choreography out of you pointing fingers because I hate being, you know, points go over here and go over there. So I'm pretty certain I would have made something funny out of it. I'm glad that we had fun with it. You know, I'm glad that despite your anxiety before actually getting into the dance with me, that you were able to get rid of all of that through the dance and that our hug kind of solidified that I did enjoy myself and I wanted you to know that. And that's really what that hug is about too sometimes, you know? Yes, we can definitely say words to other people, but there is so much that we can say with touch alone. And we know that from dancing, right? From dancing alone, we know how much touch can convey. And sometimes a hug says a lot more than any words actually could. So I'm glad that you got the message loud and clear, Rafael. Janice Bukut, OMG, I'm dancing with her alongside her. She's amazing. Curacao Salsa Tour and OMG, she's taking a picture with me. Please be my friend. <laughs> I went to Curacao five years in a row and this event was one of my favorite events. I wish San Ileo kept on hosting it. It was such a fantastic time, a small event on this beautiful Dutch Antilles island of Curacao. Gorgeous beaches every night. It was a seven day thing initially. Every night was in a different location. So you would have a party that was on the beach. You would have a party that was in the caves. You would have a party that was outdoors or in some very old monument hotel or something like that. And every night after the parties, there was this um, cart. I forgot what it's called, but they had conch, um, uh, basically seashell that they would prepare in this very fast food way. So like fries, you would, you would get fries late night from a food truck, you would get conch, fried conch. And we would sit there and be talking uh, until the wee hours of the morning only to like go to sleep when the sun is rising and wake up in a couple of hours and teach and do it all over again. And Janice, I, I still remember all of our fun trips and fun times over there. You're lovely, your dancing is beautiful. I hope you're well. I know you've got a family and everything now. I hope everyone's doing great. And I hope that we get to cross paths again soon. In a K, a jolt of happiness, Chicago Salsa Congress. You are my idol and inspiration. <laughs> in a, you and your flowers and hearts and flowers. I, I put that as your standard way of commenting now because I see you almost every day in the quarantine fitness, considering we're all in quarantine at the moment. Thank you for this comment. Uh, Chicago Salsa Congress was a very long time ago, I want to say like 2005 or 2006. So I'm glad you still remember that moment. And it's such an honor to, and privilege to be able to share something different with you today and every day these past 50 something days with the fitness. Uh, you are a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful spirit. You are very generous and, and kind. And I can I can see that in all of your actions and also that beautiful care package you sent me. Some of those creams are like luxury on my face. I still have to try all the other stuff in there, but you're just so thoughtful. I, I look forward to the day to that we can actually meet in person and have a proper introduction. And that was our last comment for this edition of What Did You Think? I wanted to say thank you in this way because I think it's a little bit more personal than just hitting like or replying with an emoji or two. In the meantime, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel, subscribe, comment, share. Until the next time.